Greetings and welcome to Saturday Night Football. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting live. Tonight we're here at Optus Stadium. Perfect weather here in Perth. I'm delighted to be sharing the mic for this match with Matthew Richardson. Welcome. Yes, thanks, Dan. A real pleasure to be here tonight for the game. The two teams to be mixing it up this evening are Fremantle and the Saints. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Fremantle fans make their team welcome. Umpire tosses the coin. Fremantle winning the toss. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. And here we go. It's not about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you were the day before. Hits the running man. The loose ball picked up by McCartan. McCartan puts it on the boot. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. That drop punt works well for Gilbert. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. 30 metres out. The ball is slammed towards goal by Nunes. The Saints get a goal on the board first. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Long attacks. The bigger the shove, the bigger the love. Gilbert kicks. Marked by Walters. Walters feeds it wide. Almost a mark, but it bounces off his chest. Longer. He's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Sending it on its way. Matera scoops up the ball. Sheridan takes possession. Dunstan puts his boot on it. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. He gets it under pressure. Mundy sends the ball on its way. Valentine marks it. Bumps the big skin. Wilson got under it. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Going for goal number one. It's going. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. That's his first. Wilson is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Neil gets the ball, takes possession. Wilson with the tap. Dunstan, feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Gets it away in the nick of time. Walters tries his luck along the ground. Akers slams it on the boot. Spur feeds it wide. Tucker, the better man there. Tucker has so much potential, he could just be anything. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Pierce taking aim. Pierce kicks for goal. The huge kick makes it through the goals. Three man hooker in front. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Sandlin really gets onto this one. Webster, I have no idea how you managed to get that out. Neil going for number one. It's in the air. A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. He sinks his first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Sandlin taps it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Kicked by Mundy. Nice contested mark by Wilson. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Valentine enjoying a height advantage. Pumps it inside the 50. Well, uh, it's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He slams that on the boot. He gets it under pressure. Bennell shoots for goal. Bennell gets the goal. Fremantle could score the last three goals. The Saints need to be careful not to let this one run away from them. McCartan onto the ball. And the mark will be paid. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. 
Slams it on the boot. Sheridan marks. Jams it on the boot now. A nice running mark. Goes towards half forward. Nice mark there. Ben Oak will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. The Dockers could score the last four goals. Four goals up for the Dockers. Benel has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Matirik is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Perspiring like it, putting in a pot as he lines the shot up. Bennell with the shot. Score for the Dockers. Three goals so far. Well done. The pressure continues to mount with that goal from Bennell. Bennell is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. First hand's important. Valentine onto the ball. A low stabbing kick. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. The Dockers could just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Mundy marks it. Puts power behind that kick. Longer marks the ball. He boots it. Good mark. Gets boot to leather and the mark will be paid. Good drop punt by Sandilands. Tucker had no chance at that one. Walters with a big bump to Ross. Tapped by Tucker. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. Nice mark under pressure. Bruce has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Geary goes for home. It takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Johnson claims the ball. Sending it on its way. The mark will be paid. Sends it on its way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Gets boot to leather. Long it gets the upper hand. A lovely drop punt. Simply outplayed the opposition there. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Saints' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. Here we go. Effective hit out there, guided by Wilson, guided by Bakers, tapped by Webster. The loose ball picked up by Sandilands, handballs to the running man, nice hands. Picked by Weller, and the mark will be paid. Jams it on the boot now. He's no oil painting, but look at him, climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Guided down nicely by Ballantyne, Materic with the mighty fist. With the ball now. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Great grab. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contest. Kate. Players have received their instructions and they're ready to start play again. Always make a total effort, even when the odds are against you. Robertson slams it on the boot. Here's a chance for Geary. 50 metres from home. Geary unloads one towards goal. He really should have made more of that. The Saints are really under the gun here. Pierce gets set to kick it back in. Good mark on the run. Hastily kicked. The ball goes over the line. The ball going back to the players right now. Long arc. It's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Akers kicks it. Billings with the mark. Sending it on its way. Gilbert marks the ball. 45 metres out. Gets boot to high. Nice work from Nunes. 50 metres out. Going for goal number two. Pierce grabs that one. He hand passes the ball. He gives the ball away. Sinclair bumps. Off the ground. Pierce aims for his man on the ground. Lucky bounce collected. He's got the football now. The Saints in trouble. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Nice bounce. Long at timing. Terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat kicks. McCartan takes the mark. Gets boot to leather. Good mark by Geary. Kicks. 
Nice contested mark by Neal. Kicks it. Takes it well. Chips it down towards half forward. McCartan looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Takes possession. Neal taps it. Picture perfect drop punt. Strong mark. The Saints haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He gets boot to the ball. He marks the ball. Ross with the kick. He gets the upper hand. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Long had slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Kicks. Gilbert takes an uncontested mark. Gets boot to high. Nunes with the mark. 40 metres from home. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Nunes scores with a beautiful kick. That's his second. That's two in a row for the Saints. And killed it trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. Good tap from Sandilands. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Gains possession. Strong mark. Low kick. A good mark under the circumstances. St Kildick just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. He slams that on the boot. He gets it under pressure. Puts boot to ball. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Takes that one strongly. Chips it down towards half forward. And the mark will be paid. He kicks the ball. Tucker with the mark. Gets boot to leather. He wins the contest. 35 metres out. Pierce has the chance to add one more to his tower. So close, but just behind. Fremantle by two goals. Stevens waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Valentine marks it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Stephen sends the ball on its way. Ross is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. He kicks the ball. Bruce really forced to earn that mark. He slams that on the boot. Spurk gets the upper hand. Spurk feeds it wide. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Hill is streaming past and gets the footy. Nice mark there. A stab kick from Mundy. Spilled by Ross. Ball over the boundary line. The umpire says throw it in. The ball is in the air. Sanderlands is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Walters runs into a tackle. What are you doing, son? Ball up on the other side wing. Sandlin's nicely outclassing Longer, Tucker, decisively. Neil sticks out his hands and collects the ball with the quick hands. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Squeezes out a handball. Handballs from the tackle. He's like a whirling tootsie fly. Has it now. He's got the footy in his hands. Robertson. Again, Richard. He's been outstanding all match then. Sandlin's with the kick. Great mark under pressure. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Savage. Savage sinks the long kick. Two goals will sink and kill it in the lead. Savage is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. Tapped by Sandilands. Squeezes on a handball. Pierce wins the marking contest. He kicks it. Goal! Fremantle by two goals. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sandlins chooses the third of two options there. He's running hot, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. McCartan is an absolute leather magnet. And for those who think there's no such thing, spare a thought for my wife and my wife. Plenty of shots are spoiled at the last moment by efforts to add just those few more metres. The Saints will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Time to see if there's anything interesting in amongst the stats. In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other.
We're back for the third term. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Dragged down by Wilson. Guided by Ballantyne. Sandlin's feeds it wide. A good mark under the circumstances. Sends it on its way. Takes it well. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. The big kick for goal goes straight through. He's bagged a couple now. The doctors have scored the last two goals. Fremantle by 17. Wilson, he's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Robertson gets the tap. Dunstan sticks out his hands and collects the ball with the quick hands. Sends the Sharon on its way. He steadies now in front of goal. Distance could be the problem. Great mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Going for goal number one. Score fix and killed it. Two goals will see St Kilda in the lead. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Sanderlands has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He slams that on the boot. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Matera with the kick. Ballantyne with the spill. Sending it on its way. Great hands. Picked by Gray. A good mark under the circumstances. Good hand skills there. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Puts boot to ball. The ball is tapped. Ballantyne gets possession. Ballantyne sends one up towards the wing. Marked by Mundy. Jams it on the boot. Perfect timing from McCartan. Out on the full. On the full. Free kick to the Saints. Gets boot to leather. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. The contest, no match for him. Tucker got a really good footballing brain. He taps the ball. Steven boots it. A clean pickup. He boots it. He's got a hold of that one. Wilson sinks it from a long way out. That's number three. The dock is bleeped and killed it. 55 to 38. All is in readiness. The bounce is straight up and down. Sandlin's with first hands to the ball. Webster with the ball. Nice interception. The umpire to ball it up. Longer thumps it forward. The ball picked up. He takes control of the loose ball. He takes control of the loose ball. Marks. Bennell lines it up. Jams it on the boot now. Nice contested mark by Wilson. 45 metres out. Well, if you could hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. That's a very well executed goal. He's kicked four and he looks like he's not done scoring yet. This kick puts them further into the lead. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Longer directs it down. Casanova would have been jealous of that pick up. Ball up in the centre square. Claimed by Sandilands. He kicks quickly, tackled, but gets the handball off. Tucker ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. A mark by Stephen. St Kilda haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Bennell kicks for goal. Magnificent goal. That's three in a row for the Dockers. Fremantle leads by 29. The bounce, laser straight. Sandlin's with the tack, controlled by Webster, kicks it. Sheridan got under it. Slams it on the boot. A great effort. Bennell getting into position for the kick. 45 metres out. A pretty safe bet from this position. Bennell scores with a beautiful kick. This kick has extended their lead. Fremantle can score the last four goals. Fremantle lead the Saints. Here's the bounce. First hand's important. He gains possession. Walters dishes it off by hand. And the mark will be paid. 50 metres out. Wilson wastes no time and bangs it forward. Bennell winds it up. Choose to kick it. A mark by Tucker. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He holds his breath. He's put his all into that, but it won't give him the six points. The dock is by six goals. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Steven has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Ross puts his boot on it. Stevens with a strong mark. 
He boots it. The mark will be paid. Neil boots it. McCarthy wins the contested ball. Gets boot to high. Bennell with the mark. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number six. Strong mark. 50 metres out. Tabernet steers the ball towards goal. Fremantle by seven goals. Tabernet has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. Huge leap. Matera comes away with the ball. Minchington just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Hill aims for his man on the ground. Gilbert is able to grab it on the half volley. He really should have made more of that. They've got it behind. Now they need to switch on because there's a real chance the opposition can go coast to coast and put them further behind. The Dockers have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder St Kildick is starting to fall behind. Bruce taking aim. He gets boot to the ball. Gilbert with the mark. Gilbert has a kick. With the quick hands. He smashes and bashes it. Nunes passes it. And he's heading for home. Slots it. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Here's the bounce. Clean tap by Pierce. Valentine taps. Gains possession. McCarthy takes a shot. I can't believe it carried the distance. That's a great goal. He sinks his first goal. This kick puts them further into the lead. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce is dead straight. Cleared by Brown. Gilbert controls. Neil on the ball at the moment. Finding the running player. Choose to kick it. McCarthy alone for the uncontested mark. McCarthy scoring from a long bomb. The Dockers have scored the last two goals. The Dock is in front. Let's have a look at the stats. The stats are close, but the scores are very different. Thanks for sharing that with us, Richo. Here we go for the last quarter. You're never a loser until you quit trying. Clean tap by Longer. Spur taps it. Was that a throw? I think it was. McCartan feeds it wide. Minchington presents and takes the mark. A desperate kick there. Gilbert wins the marking contest. Kicks the skin off it. A great effort. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. An easy angle for Geary. They need a goal to keep that door ajar. The Saints should really pack up and go home at this stage. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Claimed by Sandilands. Wilson with the mighty fist. Sockers the ball away. Willett sends the ball on its way. Neil tries his luck along the ground. McCartan just squeezes the kick out. Chips it down towards half forward. Tabernet going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. That ball's traveling and the risk pays off. Goal. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Tabernet has so much potential. He could just be anything. Longer timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Nice work from Sheridan. Sheridan is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. Sending it on its way, the mark will be paid. He kicks the ball, Ballantyne with the mark, he boots it. Good mark, concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Weller claims the ball, puts boot to ball. Materic looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. 60 metres out, choose to kick it. A great effort. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. 40 metres out. Not the easiest of angles this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. If this game were being played on water, Fremantle would be walking on it. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Wilson runs past and gets the ball. Low kick. Marked by Robertson. Kicks it. 
Takes it well. Brooks and Kilda haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He gets boot to the ball. Longer claims the ball. He kicks the ball. Billings, just the better man in that contest. Keeps it close to the ground. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. That ball's travelling. A brave shot, but an unwise one in the year. The margin's big, but there's still enough time left to play. He has a few options. Geary looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Geary takes aim for goals. Nice goal from Geary. Three of the best. He's putting on a clinic. You heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Here we go. Sanderlands has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Akers blocks it. Walters claims the ball. He kicks the ball. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice, strong mark. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. Goes towards half forward. Nice mark there. Keeps it close to the ground. Takes it well. Works it across the ground. Nice work from Longer. Puts boot to ball. Bruce has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Nice mark there. Chips it down towards half forward. Spurk wins the marking contest. Spurk is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Strong mark there. Walters with the kick. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Cleanly picked up. The spilled ball is collected. Gets the loose ball. He just can't get out of the action. Picked by McCartan. The mark is taken by Robertson. Boots it. Newton's got under it. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Gilbert trimming the grass with that kick. Sinclair made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Sandlin's aims for his man on the ground. Clean tap by Ballantyne. The bouncing ball is controlled. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 50 metres from home. Choose to kick it. Perfect timing from Pierce. Pierce is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Bruce taking aim. He's got a hold of that one. Geary takes a contested mark. Looking for another goal here. Geary slots the goal. Goal number four, and I'm sensing there'll be another. And maybe even more, given the opportunities he's getting. Well, they got that badly needed goal. Can they build on this? Nice interception. Webster read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. A great effort. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. This game is in danger of spiraling out of control. They must get a goal here. The biggest danger here is that they'll run out of time to turn this around. Pierce will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Gray with the pass. Boots it. Soccer kick. Sandlin's hand passes. He runs into the goal. That's a very well executed goal. That's his second. St Kilda could score the last three goals. They've got to start swinging like a 70s disco to get anywhere near from here. Three man or could just absolutely dominating the clearances. No doubt that's why they're winning. He knocks it down. He gains possession. Robertson finds the handball. Missed his target by hand. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Not much time remaining in the match. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Willer claims the ball. And that torp has gone supernova. Marked by Webster. The Saints were really taken to task. Richard, did you enjoy the matchup between the Dockers and St Kilda? No other way to describe that performance. That was pathetic. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richard. Final scores of the match at the Dockers 104 against St Kilda 71.
Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richard. Thanks, Dennis. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us, as always.